purported contactee, what do you think of him? Pata says. You pose an illogical question, for I already explained that no human beings on Earth maintain any contacts with extraterrestrial intelligences. Therefore he is a liar, fraud and cheat. Billy says. I would like to ask for additional information about the following Are you familiar with Area 51, Roswell, the 1947 incident in New Mexico, a UFO crash in Aztec, New Mexico, similar to the one in Roswell, but a year later, a third crash at the Mexican border in single quote 49 or single quote 50, and, in addition, do Americans in Area 51 have some extraterrestrial corpses along with one E.T. whom they hold captive, and who may now be alive? Pata says. I have already stated several times that these matters fall under my pledge of secrecy because they are associated with government, military and national security affairs. I am not permitted, therefore, to speak about these issues officially, but I can speak to you in confidence under four eyes, as you like to refer to it. Needless to say, it would indeed present a danger to you if you officially possessed such information. Let us keep things the way they are now. Billy says. That's okay, it was only a last attempt. Then back to Michael Hesman. What do you think of him? Pata says. He would be a very valuable individual in disseminating the truth about our entire mission and beyond. If only he would desist being influenced to such a great extent by lies, deceit, fraud and charlatanry, and if he were more courageous in disseminating the genuine truth instead of so much nonsense that is presented in his books and magazine. Billy says. You are expressing my opinion as well. Pata says. Truly, he could be a person to be accorded the required trust to disseminate missioned material, if only he would possess the courage to commit himself to it. Billy says. I know, but, unfortunately, this essential factor does not seem to exist. What about future contacts with extraterrestrials, may we speak about them now? Pata says. Unfortunately this remains impossible. Nonetheless, I am or rather you are, permitted to reveal that new events will soon occur. Billy says. You mean the fact that time is fast approaching when official contacts with extraterrestrials will take place? Pata says. Of course. I have told you about them. In times to come, many things will occur and changes ensue with regard to extraterrestrial aircraft, their crews as well as terrestrial mysterious and exotic looking flying craft. Extraterrestrial contacts may be expected, but they will be completely different from the current contacts that these many lying, deceitful and fraudulent would-be contactees have portrayed them to be through their religious sectarian absurdities and other things. Immensely significant new discoveries are also forthcoming that will take place on Earth, on the Moon. Mars and beyond, as you have previously stated and extensively revealed in your 23-page report without mentioning the specific dates for particular events. Billy says. It would have been wrong to name the years or the exact days and months and so forth. Pata says. I have already stated that you acted correctly. Regarding this correctness, I would like to point out something that is not particularly pleasant after observing what has been transpiring over the past years, I have noticed that only a small number of core group members have sufficient capabilities to write in a such a manner that they can produce their own foreordained texts and books through their individual volition and ability. This is particularly grave among the male group members, excluding Guido. The situation with various female group members is much more positive. With regard to current writings in the way of upcoming books and writings, I find the required labor intense corrections and revisions absolutely frightful, and this applies also to the required sentence structure to achieve the appropriate wording. Billy says. Our people simply are not writers, and often they do not have the ability to write well. Pata says. There are at least three male group members who are convinced that their literary effusions are of unique quality. Should their works be published, 
However, they would require complete re-editing, proofreading the old German expression, Kurt Jurt, is used here in revising so that they would be both stylistically correct and readable. Billy says, that's a fine mess. But tell me, from where do you know the term, Kurt Yerin? Pata says, this is a very old, long gone term in old German that means something is, or must be, put right again. Billy says, I know this too, my friend, because I use this term all the time. Pata says, it is a word merit that briefly and concisely expresses the meaning. Billy says, I am pleased that I am no longer the only one who knows and uses this term. But it seems that nowadays nobody really knows it anymore, even in academic books one cannot find anything about it, as though it had never existed. Pata says, it is shown in our old German language records, however. Billy says, well, this won't help me here. And our great authors, will be, elated, by your words. Pata says, it would be pointless not to speak about this fact, for the errors would never be recognized. On the other hand I would be lying if I praised them, and such actions are foreign to us. The written works produced in the aforementioned manner truly cannot be published until they have been thoroughly re-edited. Billy says, and who is to do all this re-editing? Pata says, probably you will not find the time, although you are predestined to do it. And yet, perhaps, you should not be considered for this task. I would like to suggest that Marianne does it, if she is willing, but it would take up a much of her time and would restrict her freedom. Although a few female members in the core group could also perform this task, they, too, have very little spare time. Therefore, we must drop this subject for now and see what can be done about it in the future. Billy says. Some prospects. Tell me now how far your research and tests have progressed regarding the latest travel and transportation technology. Pata says. Everything remains hampered by failures and it will still take more time before all the functions perform flawlessly. Some additional unexpected problems arose again recently. Once everything is functioning without defect, we will have the capability of visiting you more often as we will not have to traverse the distances to Earth and you in such an awkward manner, instead, we will do so without losing any time at all, among other things. Likewise, we have not forgotten your promised trip to visit my daughter Semiaza. Billy says. I am happy to hear this. I am eager to find out when this will finally take place. Pata says. As it looks now it may still need some time according to your concept, perhaps two or three years. Billy says. Man, oh man, I am already old and rickety now. One more question regarding terrestrial UFOs. You told me that you are not allowed to discuss them. Nonetheless, there are many people on our planet who openly speak about them and can even present photographic and movie footage evidence of these craft. Even insiders now speak openly of these matters and divulge secrets. Pata says, that may be so, but they are not in my position. I must adhere to our directives that dictate I cannot speak about such matters. We are prohibited from interfering with any terrestrial matters other than those where we are in direct contact with you and are providing you with the information, among other things. Billy says. Of course, I should have thought of this myself. Oh yes, what are we going to do now in future when I have questions for which I would like an answer from you? Pata says. We have already taken care of everything. So when something important arises we will be able to contact you telepathically. You will not have to try very hard to reach us, for the monitoring device that will remain over the center is adjusted and programmed to receive your telepathic impulses, which are transmitted as a signal to me at several times the speed of light. I will then contact you. Likewise, I will get in contact with you when I have important information, instructions or other matters for you or the group. So, you need not struggle to call me, in other words, you need not try for hours if I am not available at that exact moment.
a simple, elementary type telepathic call will suffice and be registered by the monitoring device, whose signal is continually transmitted until I receive and confirm it. My telepathic contact with you, in turn, will ensue as rapidly as possible in normal spirit telepathy. Billy says. Thanks for your efforts. I will only call you when something really important turns up. Pata says. I would be much obliged. Furthermore, please refrain from asking questions that concern the interests of group members or other individuals. In the future the intent is that all of you are on your own, you must all determine, guide and handle everything by yourselves. Future questions will only be answered when they are closely or loosely related to interests in the mission and those generated in some form by your own interests. Billy says. What about those control disks that monitor the world, will they remain stationed around the Earth? Pata says. All of the monitoring devices have been removed now. The only remaining one is intended for the center. It is no larger than 7 mm approx. 2 8 th of an inch in diameter and 3.2 mm 1 8 th inch in thickness. Billy says. And that contains the entire monitoring electronics and the signal transmitter. Pata says. Along with many other devices of which you could not even dream as you express it. The monitoring device also contains the transmitter, receiver and the related picture transmission system that transmits everything at a multiple of the speed of light to a checkpoint near to our dimension passage at the star in the Pleiades star cluster. From there it reaches us by way of a dimensional transmitter located in our own space-time configuration, hence, in our dimension. For security reasons I am unauthorized to provide any further explanations. Billy says. You are probably referring to security regarding other space-traveling intelligences. Pata says. Precisely. To provide you with more detailed information would be dangerous for us. Billy says. My friend, you are once again very laconic. You probably feel that certain Earth visitors from other worlds beyond our solar system could obtain your information to me and then find their way into your dimension? Pata says. Yes, that is what I am telling you. We know of at least one such group of intelligences who are capable of entering other dimensions to the extent that they would be capable of penetrating into our dimension, which would be rather unpleasant. Billy says. I did not know that. Do these intelligences come to Earth, too? Pata says. Yes, they do. Billy says. Then one can understand your concerns even more. Are you speaking of those who, Pata says. They only visit Earth sporadically. Billy says. In the spirit lessons I have begun an extensive project about dream interpretation. I already explained that dream symbols throughout the universe possess the identical value, respectively interpretation, for all human life forms, assuming of course that the humans on other worlds receive the same symbols as us here on Earth. This is not always the case, naturally, because many other prerequisites exist on other, extraterrestrial worlds, such as in the animal kingdom, technology, landscapes, etc., etc which have an influence on the type of symbols. If we assume, then, that on other worlds ravens exist, too, or snakes and so forth, they would possess the same symbolic value as here on Earth. Stars, fire, water, air, volcanoes and thousands of other things exist throughout the entire universe. As dream symbols, they have the same values and interpretations as those on Earth. Symbols on Earth that are non-existent here due to different types of fauna, environment, technology, music, landscapes, flora, etc., but exist on other worlds, would have the identical values on Earth or elsewhere as long as the appropriate prerequisites are given here as well. Does this apply to other universes also? I think that it cannot be any other way. Pata says. Your assumptions are absolutely correct. Billy says. Then I have another question regarding, Billy says. One never knows. So many.